Today, I'm going to do a review on this blender. This is a Ninja Professional Blender 1000. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start out by reading the description of the box, taking everything out of the box, and then we're going to blend something. On the front side, you just see the blender with uh, ice on one side, fruits and vegetables on the other side, total crushing technology, 1000 watts. Professional 1000 watts. On this side, on one of the sides, it says Ninja Professional Blender 1000, blast. Blast ice into snow in seconds, crush. Whole fruits, vegetables, and ice into delicious drinks, blend. Your favorite ingredients into delicious smoothies, dips, delicious sauces, dips, and smoothies. On the back side, it looks just like the front side. And then on the last side, let me zoom this in so you can get a better view of it. Okay, it says total crushing technology. Total crushing technology delivered unbeatable professional power with blades that pulverize and crush through ice, whole fruits, and vegetables in a second. You have the lid locks on, uh, built in pour spout, the extra large 72 ounce pitcher, which is also BPA free, total crushing blades, again, the 1000 watt motor. The easy clean control panel, which I'll show all this later, the cord, the storage box, and its sturdy non slip base. So let me go ahead and take it out the box, see what this thing looks like. Oh, okay. As you're taking it out of the box, you have more uh, instructions on the top. Let me show you that. Uh, you have some smoothies, some drinks, some salad. It says inspiring healthy living. Create nutritious and delicious meals and drinks conveniently at home. Get inspired with your new Ninja recipe guide. It includes 25 Ninja professional recipes. Then when you take that lid down, it gives you some more instructions. Right here it says, welcome, welcome to the Ninja family. For helpful product tips and questions, call us at, they leave an 877 number. I'll leave that description. I'll leave that number in the description below. On this side, it says Ninja. Find more recipes and product information at www.ninjakitchen.com. I'll also leave that down low. Okay, here's your, this is probably your recipes and your instruction manual. Let's get to unboxing this. Pull this box out. This is most likely, this is your picture. It's probably on the side. Let me scoot back so you can see this a little better. Let's see. Oh, okay. You have your lid. Your lid is in here. Set your lid right there. Put it in the box. And like I said, it's just your picture. Nothing else is in this box. Put it out the way. Okay. Inside the box. It's just the motor. Pull the motor out. Okay, here's your lid. You have your pour spout, you have your release button. They give you directions on how you put the lid on the pitcher, which is pretty simple. See this arrow right here on the pitcher? If you lift up, there's an arrow right here on the lid and you simply line the two arrows up and it locks into place. Then on your pitcher, you have this pour spout so you never even have to take the lid off. It's actually pretty cool. Now, on to the base. Here's your base and you have lock turns clockwise so you position the blender in an angle just like this and then you lock it into place. I'll show you that again. So in order to take it off, you just grab the handle, hold the base, you twist it, and it slides right on off. In order to put it back on, you know, you just put it on that angle, twist and lock in. That's pretty cool. Now, you have your power button, you have your pulse button, low, medium, high. Pretty straightforward. Underneath, you have 
these little cushiony feet so it keeps it sturdy and it doesn't scratch up any surface. Here on the back of the blender, there's this little ridge, a little lip that you can wrap up your core. Just something I thought I would show you. Okay, let me show you a little on the blade right now. So you simply push this release button that lifts up these handles and you can see right here they go into this little groove on the side on the bottom of the lid there's a slot right there and that's where the top of the blade assembly goes into that slot to minimize wobble pull your blades out and if you look at the bottom of your blade there's a star shape and then if you look in your picture you see the little star shaped cylinder and that's what your blade sits on and then once you put the lid on everything is locked into place and that's how they minimize the blade spinach and right here on the picture you can see that they give you the measurements and on the front you have liter and milliliter and then on this side you have ounces and cups okay here's another added benefit to being able to take your blade out once you have your lid off and you simply slide your blade out which again these things are extremely uh, sharp but since they're so sharp you don't want to clean them in there you know if you have a towel uh, you sit you simply just wipe them off you could uh, easily clean your blade outside of uh, the pitcher and since you have the pitcher out now you can take your rag and really wipe up in here so that's another benefit of being able to take the blade out okay now that I've showed everything that was in the box took it all out explained all the features and everything let's go ahead and blend something I'm going to wash this always wash before you use it I'm gonna wash it and I'm blending you up a little tree Okay, I uh, just got done cleaning the Ninja and now I'm about to blend something. But before I do that, I'm going to show you some safety features. Let me get the camera and zoom it in so you can see. Okay, right here, here's your power button. I have it plugged in. There's no lid on, so when you hit the power button, it just blinks and it won't blend. It won't blend if the, power, if the lid isn't on. See this little button right here? A little button right here on the lid underneath the lid right there that little pin closes down closes down into and pushes down on that pin and that activates the blender so as you see the light is blinking as soon as I close the lid, now it's ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend up a little mixture of, I have mango, strawberries, and pineapple with some orange juice. The mangoes, the strawberries, and the apples, I'm sorry, the mango, strawberry, and pineapple, they're frozen because I know this thing would blend some fresh fruit, so I want to challenge it a little bit. But before I do that, I'm just going to straight crush ice so you can see just what it can do. Right here, I just have some ice. I'm gonna dump the ice in. Put the lid on, close it. So on power, I'm just gonna turn it on low. I'm just let it crush all this ice in low and you're gonna to get to see just how loud it is and uh, see what it can do with the ice. like in there let me dump it out make sure you keep uh, these blades away from you before I dump it let me show you this blade what I like about these blades they're going in every direction the bottom row is coming this way the middle row is going like this and the top row is kind of pointing at me so you have the break the blades going in three different directions so it really chops up the stuff go ahead and dump this out so you can see what it looks like 
as you can see, this is pretty fine. Pretty fine. So I just showed that right there just so you can see just how good it does chop the ice up. I mean, that's pretty fine. Right here, I'm going to add a half a cup of orange juice, half a cup of mango, half a cup of pineapple, half a cup of strawberries, and half a cup of ice. Half a cup of mango, half a cup of pineapple, half a cup of strawberries, a few cubes of ice, half a cup of orange juice. Put the lid on, turn the power on, I'm gonna put it on medium this time, and I'm gonna let it blend until it's liquefied. Okay, I added a little too much fruit, so I had to add a little bit more orange juice, and it is a little more liquefied. I'll let you see that. Okay, now it's done. Go ahead and use the little spout. Pour it on out. Let's see how it pours. Taste it. Tastes good to me. Um, it's not super, super smooth. I can taste a little bit. It's a little chunky, just, just a very little bit, but it is smooth. I mean, you saw it pour out. Let me finish drinking this, then I'll give you my final review. Okay, here are my final thoughts on this blender. I like it. By far, this is the best blender that I've ever owned. Uh, I have a few family members, they have the Blendtec and the Vitamix. Those are some amazing blenders, but I don't own a shop. I don't own a business, I just, I'm a home user. And for in the house, this thing is amazing. I like the pitcher. I like the pour spout. Uh, I like how you can wrap the cord up in the back. You know, it's very simple. Power, pulse, low, medium, high. The drink came out. It's like drinking a milkshake. And that was, everything was frozen. So it's not like it was fresh fruit, which I'm pretty sure it would have liquefied that up even better. For me, this is a good machine. Uh, I don't know the longevity yet. We just got it. But for the amount we paid, uh, I can't remember the exact price, but it was somewhere between $60 and $80. This is well worth the money. Way better than your little uh, cheap blenders. I don't know if it's as good as your expensive blenders, but I know we will be keeping it. And uh, I'm glad we have it. Uh, as usual, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Be sure to answer them. Appreciate it.